this first session is about parent engagement. So um, we've we'll uh, got two schools. We've got Sheldon and Crest Education. And um, they're going to be showing um, and presenting to you the plans and processes of how they've redesigned um, their school box instance to increase their parent engagement. So it's going to be really excellent. So um, I'm first going to welcome on stage uh, Gemma Driscoll from Sheldon College. She is the LMS Engagement and uh, Communications Internal Communications Manager. Um, so I'll just bring her out now. Uh, thanks, guys. Enjoy. Hi, good morning. Um, today I want to talk about our LMS uh, instance, which we called iLink. Um, I am the um, engagement manager, basically, at the college. Um, we're based in Brisbane, in sunny Queensland. Um, parent engagement to us is incredibly important, and we truly believe that um, that will have a, a direct um, impact on the students' learning. And, um, one of our beliefs is that their experience is the key to engagement. So I'm just going to go through some of the initiatives that we've put in place and show you some of the um, pages in our system so you can see how we've uh, implemented that. Um, firstly, this is our team, um, just a team of five led by our um, director of ICT, uh, Murray James. Um, all five of us are um, working on one aspect of the LMS. So we have very clear outlines and guidelines of exactly what we want to achieve. We meet regularly, um, but there's no mixed messages. We're all responsible for um, where our area of expertise lies, and that's working really, really well for us. Um, just a quick overview of our college. Um, we have approximately 1,400 students. We're K to 12. Um, we have about 1,850 parents and um, we also have about 260 academic and corporate staff. So we're, we're quite a, a sizable school. Um, brief overview of our journey. Um, in 2014, we began on our discovery journey. We, we began trialing um, the system. We moved into live in 2015. We went live to staff and students in the February and then um, to parents in the October. So we've, we had a, quite a long lead up um, into releasing the system into our community. Um, in 2016, we really began um, developing uh, we, we came up with a corporate brand. We called our system iLink. Um, we set some minimum standards in place for our staff and we launched the mobile app in the November. And I came along into the role uh, of the engagement manager in October 2016, so right at the end of last year, um, with, the, with the main focus of um, parent engagement, but building a brand, building a system, and making it um, a very value-added um, part of our college culture. Um, in terms of communication and engagement, getting people to buy in, um, I certainly believe that their experience, the user's experience, is absolute key. Um, I think that if uh, a system is designed well and the experience is good, then you're more likely to come back as opposed to just going into the system when you have to. So um, why should we worry about parent engagement? Um, what are the benefits? Well, the parents make the greatest contribution to the child's education at home. Um, so the college will then benefit from that significantly. Um, student learning outcomes um, and the connections with the community can all be directly related to the LMS um, that we're, we're using in our college. So user experience, what is that? Well, it's what the user needs, it's what the user values, it's about their abilities and their limitations and everything that we've done in our system, we've taken that into consideration. Um, first of all, we have a brand, a very strong brand. Um, we, the journey begins with an, an engaging dashboard. So our dashboards are tailored to the user. Um, no two users generally see the same content. That way, um, your experience is already positive because you're not being bombarded with a lot of information that's not relevant to you straight away. Um, we use a lot of uh, content marketing in our dashboards. We have. Banner, uh, rotating banners for marketing real estate. We use videos and very quick links again, so a very um, initial positive experience in the system. 
Communication pages are, again, very, very important to us. We have a consistent layout from um, year one right through to year 12 so that the parents know what to expect as they uh, go through the year levels um, and they begin to trust. They trust the brand, they trust the system because we're not changing things on them all the time. Um, we're using our communication pages um, for various um, types of information. We try to um, give them tips and tricks, uh, for example, down in the junior college of how a, a parent could help their student with literacy and numeracy in everyday life, for example, next to things like college news and reminders that are coming up through the week. So really, other than the dashboard, the communication page is the, the, the most vital page in the system for the parent before they then go off into uh, other areas of the system. Um, again, as you can see, there's a theme, the brand is very, very strong. Um, a, a good brand equals trust. So starting down in our early learning, which is really where the, the journey begins, um, we're using a lot of daily blogs, photo galleries, and the parents can obviously then comment on them photos, so they, they feel that they're um, included in, in their child's learning. Um, and we, we're finding a lot of engagement is really, really coming from that. In fact, the, the early learning pages are some of our most visited pages, which is really, really awesome. Um, for example, here, a director of early learning provides weekly parent tips. A lot of our um, early learning mums are very young, so lots of parenting tips and healthy lunch recipes, for example. She does a weekly recipe. Um, so it, it's not just about uh, curriculum or education information. There, there's lots of cultural information there as well. We're using e-portfolios as much as we can. We're beginning them down in uh, kindy. And this is a, an example where we've put the, um, their early learning register. We've saved that as a PowerPoint and a video. We also put their graduation video on there. So there's a real cultural aspect. And the student and the parent can then reflect on their learning as they go on through the years in the college. So this is a really, really important part of the system for us. With everything that we design, we take, again, the user experience into consideration. Now, not everyone's going to be looking at the page as you are. They're going to be on a mobile, they're going to be on a laptop, on the run. So we, we really take into consideration their limitations. Um, and we put a lot of effort into making sure that the screens read well um, uh, with, on every device. That's very important to us. This is an example of some of our junior pages. And again, the brand's strong, the colours are bright, and it's a, it's a positive experience. Our college highlights. Um, this comes under the user values, what the user values, the cultural aspect of our college. Um, we're providing, we're a very, very busy college, so um, we provide real-time marketing, if you like, highlights straight away. We can provide um, rich media, image galleries, newsletter, and we're basically celebrating the students' achievements. Um, and a parent can access that day or night when they're when they can, rather than having to wait for the information to be sent to them. Um, and we're promoting all faculties um, in one space so that a parent can see not just what's going on in their year level, but in all other year levels as well. Um, we have a very, very busy college, so we have a designated upcoming events page. This falls under what the user needs. Um, easy to access information at any time. Um, as a parent, we all know how frustrating it is to search through an email only, you know, for the information for an event that you're supposed to attend or a piece of paper that has gone missing at the, the bottom of the bag. So here, again, it's a positive experience. They can log on and they can be notified about an event in good time so they can plan ahead. Um, and we find that the parents are visiting these pages uh, a, a vast amount. Um, in the curriculum area, we're working on a lot of collaborative project pages. Um, here, for example, we did a, a journalism project that was involving all classes in um, year six. And we had teachers involved, we had our marketing department involved, and we were able to showcase this through um, through our LMS so that parents are able to access the content. And they, again, they feel involved in their child's learning and in the college community. Uh, we have quite a, a large co-curricular programme as well, so we are beginning to represent all of our co-curricular programmes in our system, um, making sure that e each faculty is represented. 
Um, we want a, a parent to basically log on and get all the information that they need when they need it at any time. They need to trust the system. So with that, we have to make sure that we cover all bases and that every faculty is represented. So with all that in mind, um, there are some figures to, uh, behind what we've been doing this year. So we've been working on this, this engagement uh, since January. And some of the figures here you can see in a graph represented, obviously, they've, they've gone up. But just for an example of figures, um, from January 2016, there were 750 parent logons. In January 2017, we have 4,700. Going through to July 16, we had 2,300. Mm -hmm. And in July 17, we had eight and a half thousand. So the trend is going up. Um, we've, we're getting feedback from our parents that they're enjoying the system more, they're getting more value out of it, and we're gonna to continue to grow that over the next um, few years. And we're also seeing that same trend with students and teachers as well. So it's been a very, very positive outcome. Um, just some ideas of our future roadmap. We've got lots of plan we haven't done yet, and we'll continue to make sure that there's engaging content in our system so that parents keep coming back because they want to, not because they have to. So thank you very much for your time. Um, we'll, if you want to speak to any of our team, there's three of us here today and tomorrow, so feel free to uh, come and say hi, or if you want to drop us an email, if you need any more information or want to see any of our pages. So thank you for your time. And you know, just uh, on behalf of School Box, thank you so much thank for showing you. all the amazing work Sheldon is doing. Thank you. So, just a little gift from us. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for your time. Okay. All right. So now we've got uh, Lisa Dumasich um, and Brad Owens from Crest Education. If you guys would like to come out, um, Lisa was um, one of our very first. Uh, Schoolbox Heroes, woo! <laughs> so that's fantastic. Um, really looking forward to seeing what you guys get to show us. Thanks. How's your day? Uh, any homework? <sighs> um, didn't you have a maths test today? How'd you go on that? Oh, so frustrating. I wish there was a way I could find out all these results. Wait a minute, I know how. School box. <laughs> I know, sorry, super cheesy. <laughs> That was the highlight, no, really. Um, <laughs> just, I'm just going to whip this off. Just, if there was music, this would have been... You know, uh, I promise to stop before it gets inappropriate. Um, all right. Can we change over to the... This shirt will make more sense in a second, too. Um, can we pop out... Oh, that is our presentation. I just need to click. Okay, so I'm Brad Owens, I'm the Learning Systems Coordinator, and this is Lisa, who is our Head of Learning and Teaching. Um, Crest Education has uh, two schools, Hillcrest Christian College and Rivercrest. Rivercrest is an IB school, uh, whereas Hillcrest is traditional um, Australian curriculum. Uh, School-wise, we're both from Hillcrest. We have about 1,400 students, um, so uh, that's the size of our our school from prep to 12 or from ELC up to 12 uh, so we range all the way across there so a little bit about um, where we were uh, we did used to have Moodle uh, we've had school box for a couple of years now Lisa will talk a bit more about that in a second but uh, we had, had a Moodle for our, our LMS um, it had limited content it was used varyingly you know in different sections of the school um, we're starting to get some take up, or more take up in senior school, um, but junior school maybe not so much. Um, but so we had that, and, and it was used. We put uh, some individual assessment results on there. There was some notices. It sort of had it had bits and pieces, but it didn't have everything. Um, and so consequently, it wasn't particularly widely used. 
Um, some staff really got into it again, as always happens. Some students did then, you know, who were in those classes. Um, but it wasn't widely used across everywhere, so we didn't really have a lot of parent involvement with that system. Um, our thoughts were pedagogically as well as LMS was to move to continuous reporting. We wanted to give that more, uh, more timely feedback. Um, and so when we were thinking about that, we decided to review the whole structure and look at, you know, was there a, maybe a better way that we could do things? Um, and so that's where we went to. So I'm going to talk about the current situation. I've only started at Hillcrest this year. I come from a, another school box school, Cairo. So quite like the school box LMS. So um, we started in term four of 2015 with it just being open to the teachers and the teachers had a term to get all of their classes and courses um, onto, our, we call it Crest Connect at um, our, our instance of school box. Um, and then in 2016, um, it was opened up to students and we spent a lot of time developing rubrics and setting up the foundations for continuous reporting and much to some of our teachers' absolute angst, we went live with parents this year. As you know, teachers like to delay things as long as possible and sometimes you do need to um, pull the plug and say, right, we're, we're open to parents. So we did that and um, Feedback for Learning, which is our reporting um, system was, or, and this is our mascot Clyde, um, was rolled out this year. And so we've just done the first cycle of reports and then parents actually being able to um, access feedback live on Schoolbox. So our reporting looks somewhat like this. So what we did is made a deliberate um, attempt to minimise the information that went on the reports to force parents to engage with what's going on on feedback with Schoolbox. So all of the assessment tasks that sit under the um, overall result sit on Schoolbox with the feedback there and the idea is that we want to push parents to that and to um, partner with us as much as we possibly can. So currently, our situation is we've got our continuous reports and we've called our semester of reports online academic summaries rather than a report to try and change the culture with our parents. Um, we have a news digest going out every week with work due sitting on it so we're not bombing parents with too much information. We've also got this, um, Brad and I are wearing our t-shirts, wherever parents are at at the school, so it might be an information night, Brad and I turn up with our t-shirts on and we have a mobile help desk. We decided, I don't know what's happened at your schools, but at our school, when we run something for parents um, to train them on how to use Schoolbox, they're not really interested. We get such small numbers. So we thought, well, if the mountain won't go to Muhammad, we will go to the mountain. Is that the right way? No, the other way. Whatever that saying is, we'll go where the parents are. So every information night, I'm setting up a desk at our parent teacher interviews next week. Um, new parent dinners, all of those sorts of things, we turn up and parents can actually access help um, there. We thought that was a better way to do things. Um, I sat at open day as well. And that's been quite a pop well received um, at, with our parents. Um, we've also put all of our information sits on um, Crest Connect for parents. So any handouts, anything that they need sits there. And we also then in our newsletter, we have links to Crest Connect for all of those handouts under each section. So parents are really directed to that um, as much as possible. Um, so again, all of our school communications are there. We also introduced this year, because you're rolling it out to parents and introducing a new reporting system just wasn't quite enough. So we also introduced the Schoolbox app and that has had a pretty good take up for parents as well using that. Um, and it's just a nice, easy way for them to get the information that they need. All right, so future plans. What are we looking at to try and engage parents even further with it? Because you still, we still have parents who are just going, Crest what? Even though we're doing all of those sorts of things. So um, we're restructuring our entire school next year. We're moving from a junior, middle, senior model to a primary, secondary model. So we thought that was a really great opportunity to then restructure and change the look of our school box. Um, so that's what we're currently working on at the moment and trying to come up with good design, good navigation, and uh, we're going to sort of relaunch that at the start of next year. We're also redesigning the academic summary that I showed you a few slides ago. Um, there was just a little bit of 
uh, concern from some of the parents that it didn't quite make sense, so we've changed that. Um, and we're creating a new look for school box. Um, so we're, tr we're trying to move away. We've got a very red and white school box because that's our corporate colours. Clyde is a red and white, so we want to try and make that look a bit more attractive and add some extra features to the app to try and get further parent engagement. All right, Bradley. Yes, now we, we were, excuse me, we we're gonna get you guys to do something. I don't know if there's a school box person. Are we meant to be finishing at 12 o'clock? No, 12.25, beautiful, we'll just keep going. This works really well with my year 10s, so I'll try it with you guys. You're a bit spread out. And I know you don't want to move, but can we possibly get you to like conglomerate onto a few, if there's just one or two of you on a table, can you maybe join with another table that's got one or two of you? Because then when we come around and ask you for ideas, there's more ideas and you'll sound smarter. So it's, it's in your best interest to get on a table. If you could see someone who looks smart, go and sit with them. That's a good plan. That's, you know, got me through years of schooling. And basically our thought was just that, well, we're, we're all smarter together. So we wanted to get you guys to think about and chat about with each other um, what your current situation is in terms of parent engagement. What are the things that you do that work? What are the things maybe that you're doing that aren't working with your parents? Um, and then do you have any plans for future ideas that might improve parent engagement? You'll see there's a URL there. Now I'm hoping the wireless works a little bit better. Maybe if we go one person per table um, types in that URL instead of we all try and jump on. Um, if we do that, and there's just a Google Slides thing there, you can just pick a table number. I, I put in one to 12, but obviously there's a few more than that. Um, so if you just pick a slide and start adding in some ideas if you want to record any good ideas that your table comes up with, uh, and then we can um, pop them up at the end. Uh, we'll come down and have a bit of a wonder while you're thinking of them and then we can maybe share them at the end uh, on the screen. Absolutely, and it also means that you guys can, you've got access to it so you can take the ideas and implement that at your school as well. Indeed. So discuss away. Lisa, we might do it the old school way and run around with a microphone and ask tables if they have any good ideas. Do you want to run around or do you want me to run around? You sure? There you go. <laughs> That's right. All right, did anyone come up with a great idea for something you're doing or something that you'd like to do uh, to help with parent engagement? Just give us a wave and Lisa will be with you in a second, Jerry Springer style. I was going Phil Donahue, but Phil am Donahue I style, showing sorry. my age? <laughs> Who is Phil Donoghue? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm showing my age, okay. <laughs> that, see, they didn't have any parent engagement ideas, that's why they came to this session, Lisa, <laughs> that's what's going on. We were meant to give them ideas and, yeah. yeah. All right, are there any ideas on this table? Help me out, people. Hey everybody. Um, so we talked about parent engagement and making um, specific pages uh, for parents, so campus pages, year level pages, and then putting on content that relates to those pages. So parents could go on, if you have a grade two student, you can go on to the grade two page, which has the information for that parent. So yeah. Excellent, thanks Dale. From St Paul's. Yes, cool. Okay, over here. Do we have any great ideas? Uh, hi, I'm John from St. Catherine's School. I think what we talked about at this table was um, parent engagement and communication policies and protocols. Um, we, we redesigned our protocols in May that school box was the only place that we were going to publish information for parents. We weren't going to email, we we're going to stop all that communication and it all had to go through school box. We've used the Digistorm app. Um, and we gave parents about a term lead-in time, which was quite short. We had a lot of um, interesting feedback from parents and a lot of um, 
kickback on that in our senior school, but now I think um, that short leading time has meant that we are posting everything in Schoolbox using the dynamic group, setting up targeted group pages, and I think it's been a real, real good step for us this year. Our numbers in terms of engagement, we were looking at our parent logins, average at around 2,000, you know, January, February, March, and in August we're up to 14,000. So it has made some improvement for sure. Wow, that's really good. It all comes down to the policies, and, and we have even um, restricted um, teachers from emailing parents. They can't go into any systems and email parents directly which makes that email that comes from the principal that much more important. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Can someone from my school take a note of that? that yeah. <laughs> that's great. All right, this table. Is there, do we have any willing or non-willing volunteers? Um, yeah, we had, we had similar um, conversations around the groups um, and having targeted groups for parents um, and, and I guess the difference between too many and too little groups um, and having the ability for subscription to groups and how we might manage that going forward um, and we're looking at an app at our particular school and launching that and how that would tie in with notifications so that we're not bombarding parents with the information so the, the key information holders if you like. Fantastic, thank you. Okay, this table, because I'm close. There you go. <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, we're a table that's got a combination of a school that's looking at Schoolbox, a school that's been involved for three years but has only opened up to parents in the last 13 weeks, and um, a partner organisation called Paper, Parent Paperwork. Um, and so it was quite interesting to hear our discussions. The key points from the discussions were that we needed to be aiming for 100% engagement and mostly through building a consistent approach where people know what to expect when they go in um, by removing engagement, uh, sorry, removing barriers by providing information um, very simply to all types of devices and things, assistance through the pop-up booths and um, then we said there seemed to be very high integration through the combination of the school box, the Digistorm app and parent paperwork. Fantastic. That's great. Um, parent, parent paperwork. I would love to talk to you at some point. <laughs> One thing I've noticed from a couple of parent information nights I've done was, uh, I mean not surprisingly, parents are time poor like all of us. And so the two big things that get mentioned continually are that things need to be really easy to find. You know, I don't want to get in there and have to look around for things. I want to be able to find them quickly. Uh, and the other one which surprised me a little was that uh, how much they would prefer the app version than just going online in a browser. Um, I, I didn't really get that one myself, but it seemed to be a big thing with our parents. So there's another couple of little tips that just I've heard anecdotally from parents. And beware of the parent that wants the app in the US app store. I don't oh, know. Yes. <laughs> that was an interesting conversation that Brad had, had to have. All right, anyone on this table who are all looking away, <laughs> please don't ask us. None of you, okay, we'll find another table. I'm gonna bypass you. Anyone over here? All right. We can, we can stop there, that's all right. Uh, I don't know if anyone did type into that doc. If so, you've all got the link to that so you can see if there were any ideas that got put in there. Um, I'm not able to see it just at the minute. But uh, yeah, I guess just it is, I guess parent engagement like uh, getting staff or students involved is, is a bit of a process. You know, it's, uh, you won't get instant parent engagement, I guess, although you might if you turn off other forms of communication. Um, so uh, just keep working on it. I think we've got another idea, though. I just wanted to add something about the app. Uh, we've been using Schoolbox for a long time, and um, we don't have an app. What we've discovered is that parents don't know that they just have to add an icon to their home screen on their iPhone. And what happens is virtually then they think they have an app. Yeah. So I just wanted to, so anyone who doesn't have an app, I suggest you try that first because when I show parents that, they go, now I have an app. <laughs> when you show teachers that, it's even more awesome. 
<laughs> there you um, go, yeah. The magic of modern technology. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for your participation. Hopefully uh, you've got some ideas, whether from us or from others around you, um, to help you with your parent engagement. And uh, yeah, just wish you good luck in your, your school box journey. Thanks a lot. <laughs>